This video is brought to you by Anger of Death and Undead of the Dead. Hey guys, Sarcasm here. I've been busy working on my- You guessed it, it's time for more mistranslations of PB Winterbottom. To be more precise, I've been going through my backlog of games and picked two titles, both of which ended up being somewhat niche Chinese games. And as I hope I already proved on this channel, if there's one thing plaguing all these games, it's the poop and pee narrative. No, seriously, it's the way they're localized. Don't mention it. This is Anno Mutationem, a game that feels like an 8th grader syndrome fever dream, and yet still manages to make sense. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that it has been localized by none other than Lion Bridge Games, which is like creme de la creme top tier multilingual everything agency. Someone needs to be spanked, eh? But well, when you compare it to textual disasters everywhere all at once present in a more niche title, and I mean the second game I played, a Souls game mind you, Heroin Anthem 2, you just understand that well the bar is very low because you literally get to see every possible iteration of textual incoherence. You've got typos, untranslated text, unclosed tags, dislocated text, overlapping text, even more typos, this part where I can't decide if it's a pun or a typo, text wrapped in Japanese style quotation marks, aka kagikako, unconventional use of kagikako, mid-air commas, basic nonsensicality, like this guy's so good he will let you down kind of a situation, or we offer a drink to someone but our thirst gets quenched instead. <laughs> Hard to digest references that might not be references at all, inconsistent and confusing aliases, little thing, ginger tot, muscle bloke, muscle block, muscle freak, muscle man, inconsistent terminology like how bleeding is called slashing, inconsistent genders, which is further complicated by the fact that female protagonist disguises herself as a man, extremely long sentences being displayed for a very short period of time, turning it into a reading speedrun. And don't get me started on grammar, punctuation, and otherworldly corruption. But if you can close your eyes and pretend that story does not matter in video games, what awaits you is actually a horny side-scroller with just mind-blowing amount of things you can do. From summoning an actual railgun to fight a ghost without a shell, to wearing a cowsplay and kissing centipedes. But you don't have to brave the dangers of this world alone. You are joined by a multitude of familiars who can fetch items for you, carry you mid-air, block projectiles, blow up your monitor, you name it. An average JoJo fan will surely be satisfied. And don't forget that you also have basic combos, various ultimate attacks, combat stances, and a Metal Gear barrel to spice things up. Heroin Anthem 2 features the absolute smoothest, most fluid movement I have ever experienced in any side-scroller, and I have experienced Ori 2 and vanilla wear titles, mind you. This freedom of movement alleviates any platforming related pains you might have and makes you feel like a badass with almost unrestricted movement. Make no mistake, this is a labor of love and it shows. Another thing Heroin Anthem 2 does is it brings background to life by allowing the player to search literally anywhere for treasure or even story related items. You can OCD style search behind every pixel or ask your pigeon to help or look for hints in the background, which doesn't always work, or simply ignore it because honestly it doesn't matter that much. You can trust buff Ojisan on this one. It is also one of the few games where during an epic fight everyone's damage value is based on their epicness story-wise. Like if your party has a godlike mage, that mage will deal more damage than you even though you are the protagonist of the story. Or maybe my build just sucks. What this game doesn't have going though is a stable economy because with this much easily earned cash I can only wonder why there's no hyperinflation happening. 
not complaining here. Some things are unpolished in terms of gameplay as well, like in one of the boss fights, projectiles remained upon reload, forcing me to dodge or take damage. Some items in terms of progression are broken at the beginning of the game, like you can eat a bowl of soup and literally level up or obliterate any early game boss fight with throwables. That'll be all. And remember, you can became whatever you want to be. I'm telling you, this game is a GOAT. Hurun Anthem 2 also provides great relationship advice. Just enter the hole. <laughs> 